I saw this recently. My God. This is probably the best Spider-Man movie I think I've ever seen, man. I don't know why it took that took so long to get 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 it right here, but man. I just I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was really It's just really impressive. I mean, I have a few minor complaints with it, but I'm going to start this off here, just a non-spoiler review, and I'm going to get to a part where I'm going to discuss things on there. So, Because I don't want to ruin this for anybody. I really want people to go see this movie. I mean, I might even buy the DVD or whatever of this, because it is really just, wow. I just, I just can't get over how good this movie is, man. It's just... <laughs> and, um... The thing that I really like about this movie, I don't want to, this is so hard without giving spoilers away, but it, this movie has a lot of, like, heart in it. It's really, it's really got that Spider-Man feeling, especially towards the end of it. The, the first, the first and second act are just, wow, man, it's just, the third act is even, I can't wait to see the next one after this, man. I mean, so this is so hard because I don't want to spoil anything from you. Well, as you can see on the picture here, we got Dr. Strange and got Doc Ock and some other people here. So I'm not saying anything that isn't on the trailer, but man, it is. It's just really, really good, man. Um, uh, God, I don't want to give spoilers away yet. It's so hard. Yeah, see, this is giving spoilers away here. I can't. The guy that plays Doc Ock from the original Tobey Maguire movie, he on he's on there, and he's really good, and... William Defoe as the Green Goblin man or Hobgoblin or whatever is just it's just such a good movie, man. That's all I can really say about this this thing, man. It's just really, really good. I mean, they just totally <laughs> I just don't want to give anything away. It's just um a, f a few complaints I have, and I've had this through all of these Tom Holland ones, is, okay, this gal, I I do not understand the appeal of this, this gal. She is just, okay, this is not Mary Jane, okay? And it's not because she's a black girl or any of that garbage. It's because they didn't dye her hair red for one. I mean, come on. Mary Jane is a fucking redhead. Why this is so hard for them to, to get through their head, I don't... I just don't understand, you know? That's all they had to do. I probably would have been on bo board somewhat, but the other issue is Mary Jane isn't this um, emo goth chick or whatever. This is that Dune movie. And... <sighs> She's just not that great of an actress. I think she's highly overrated. This and that Dune movie, and I don't know. I just, I just don't think that she's as good of an actress as people tend to make her out to be. I just don't really care for her. I can't even think of something I've seen in with her that I've liked besides... The Spider Man's, but I don't. I don't even like her in the Spider Man movies. Um, I don't know what else to say about her, but I just, I think she's a very bad actress. I don't think she's good. She wasn't good in this one either. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I just, I just do not care for her. Yeah. Uh.
uh, this 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 guy is so stupid in the movie. His friend. I I really hope they don't make him friends with this this kid again. It's just it's the, the, that's the these are the two biggest problems of this movie. Is this virtue signaling garbage here? Um, I don't want to give anything else away there. So I mean, all to tell you. It's just one hell of a ride. That's all I can tell you if you haven't seen it. So now I'm going to now I'm going to talk about spoilers. So at this point, from this point on, there's going to be spoilers, a, a review of the spoilers. So if you haven't seen it yet and you want to see it, don't watch this part because I have to discuss some things on here. I don't want to make two videos of it, so I'll just do this. So here's the biggest complaint I have about this movie. So Doctor Strange agrees to make this spell for Spidey, and they do it in a huge rush, and they don't even discuss it or anything. And when they're doing the spell... Um, Spidey starts saying, well, I want this person to remember. I want that person to remember. And he's screwing up the spell. And it causes this big mess on here. And all I could think about this is, why didn't he just tell them later? You know? Like, why make a huge deal about this? It's so stupid. Like, all he had to do was just keep his mouth shut and let him do the damn spell. And that's it. They're done. So, besides that, I mean, I can't, I, I, I really like this movie overall. There's not really much else that I really hate on it, except for that thing with the spells and all that, where it was like, geez, why are you, you go and do a world-changing spell, and you're in such a rush to do it that you can't even take 10 minutes to sit down and discuss the implications of this spell and what it can do and all this. Oh, and by the way, uh, what the hell happened with S.H.I.E.L.D. and the rest of the Avengers? No, Nobody gave a shit about Spider-Man? They're just like, you're on your own, kid? I mean, what the hell? Why didn't he try to contact Nick Fury or um, what's her name, Maria Hill or... I guess you can't really contact Thor, but who else is there? He could Hawkeye or just some of the Avengers and get get somebody to help him. It's just that Peter Parker is bad because that's it. I'm J. Jonah Jameson, and I'm going to take Spider-Man down because he's bad just because. And do 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 you know, it's like, gee, I feel kind of bad for him, like, you save the you save the fucking world and do all this, and they just could give a fuck about you. It's like really, I mean, man, talk about a shitty deal. But um, that's about it, man. Everything else on this movie, I absolutely loved. I just, I just, I can't think of anything else I hated on there. I mean. The the ending was was like a hard reset. I liked that about it. The ending w was, um, I guess he's leaving the MCU or something because they just totally wiped it clean from it and everything. And he's he's doing his own thing now, and he's got his own suit and everything. And his suit looks just like the comics. It looks really, really spot on. I mean, you couldn't see it too well, but. Other than that, I mean, it's just an awesome movie. I can't think of anything else that I had a gripe with, but besides that, man, you want to you want to see an awesome movie? Well, I mean, you've already seen it if you've seen this part, but all right, I guess that's that. I just I love this movie, man. I I'd go watch it a bunch of other times if I could. But um, I'm definitely probably going to get the Blu-ray or whatever. This it, it was really good. All right, thanks for watching.